Well, let's dive into the worlds of imagination with your, with your little ones in uh, Fairy Day Games. That's the title of a new book this year by author Mary Shurkin. So she is joining us to talk about the books, but also the magic that we can find all around us and the inspiration that we can give our give our kids. Good morning, Mary. How are you? I'm very well. Good morning, Tim. Thank oh. you so much for having me today. Well, congratulations on the on the newest child. I guess they came out earlier this year on the, on your uh, Fairy Day Games. Um, where does where did the the fairy themes come from for you? Um, I am um, I'm the firstborn Canadian uh, on my father's side. My father is British, and fairies in England in the UK are a very very big thing and when I was a little girl also my grandfather being your typical Englishman was always in the garden and so as uh, from a very small age while he'd be working in the garden my grandmother would be there telling me fairy stories and telling me to look around here and to look over there and so they've always sort of been in my life um, when I started writing really as I said to somebody just a couple of weeks ago I didn't really choose the stories they chose me do you find them? So where is your inspiration? Where do you find your inspiration when you're writing? Most of the time it comes to me when I'm outside. Um, I can look at a leaf or feel the wind blowing or even like a little moth, a butterfly that will land on my sleeve. You know, you change it into a fairy and all of a sudden the story becomes magical, you know. And I think that I really think it's important for children to really sort of explore imaginary worlds and all those other places, just to, just to let their mind go. I think it's just a fun place to be. That's what the books are all about, is to, to open your mind and, and, and get out there and just and realize there, there could be anything anywhere. There could right? be anything and anywhere. And to have, to have that imagination. Oh my um, so your first book, A Fairy on My Sleeve, came out in 2021, received international fame though, it as did. it was read by the Duchess of York, Sarah Ferguson. What did that do for the book? Oh my goodness, that was so exciting. Uh, we had sent the book off to her and I had been told by several other author authors who I'd spoken to that they had sent their books in and you know, they didn't hear anything back. So I really wasn't expecting very much. So I was absolutely shocked when four days later they called me and they said, Sarah loves your book and she wants to read it tomorrow on the show. I was, I was absolutely shocked. It was just wonderful. We had almost 100,000 views on that one alone. And then she replayed it again uh, just a few months ago. So it was sort of had a repeat on it. And take us through the new book, Fairy the Day Games. Fairy Day Games is about, well, it's about that most wonderful day of the year, Christmas, Canada Day, you know, your birthday, everything all wrapped up into one. And there are all sorts of wonderful things in every single person in the fairy world, creatures, it doesn't matter if you're an imp or a gnome or even a human, everybody gets involved and everybody helps. So there's one little girl and she really wishes she could shrink down and, and join up all these games. And, and this is where we explore here. She finds out what would happen if she did go and uh, she has a pretty good time. What's the ages for these books, ideally, do you think? I would say mostly from three till eight, but even younger books. My illustrator, David Nast, did such an absolutely beautiful job. I think that they could just lie there and open a page and sit there for like a half an hour and just mm -hmm. find all sorts of different, different little details. You know, so I also think it would be very good for children who don't necessarily read yet because there are so many wonderful pictures that tell the story right there too. Does the, um, so, so what's next then? Do we have another one in the works? Um, well, we have two more that are ready for okay. illustration and they are both about fairies. One is called um, Where Do All the Fairies Live? And the other one is The Fairies of the Thames. So perhaps we'll have to go over to England and see if we can find some of those fairies. <laughs> and we've also just finished recording uh, our first children's song. It's called Full Moon Friend, okay. and it's for children who might be afraid of the dark. Oh, okay, we had one in our house that was afraid of the dark, and it's just kind of coming out of that. So it's all, but it's again, using that imagination, it gets them thinking outside of the box. Where can we get the books, Mary? The books are available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Max, uh, Mascot Kids, or through my own website, maryshirkin.com. Wonderful, we'll hook it up with our website, chch.com slash morning live. I know you were up very, very early to travel here to the studio today, so we appreciate that. And congratulations on the, on the books and the, and the newest one, Fairy Day Games. Thank you so much, Tim. Thank you for having me.